G'day, I'm Joel. I'm a personal trainer from Bondi Beach, Australia. And in March 2020, I had a tumour removed from my brain. I created this YouTube channel to bring motivation, support and insights to anyone going through a brain surgery journey of their own. I would love to help as many patients and their families as possible. If what I'm saying is helpful, please like and subscribe. Imagine knowing you've got a lesion growing in your brain for seven years and you don't know what it is. So that's exactly what happened to me. I, uh, After being dizzy every day for two years, I finally found out that there was something going on in my brain. But then because of the location of the lesion, we weren't able to cut in and see exactly what it is. All I was told was it looked nasty. It's a horrible word to hear. And for seven years, between discovering the lesion and cutting in and realizing it was a tumor, I had seven years of underlying stress and anxiety, as you can imagine, whilst trying to live and perform a normal life. So I was asked in a a forum on Facebook the other day if, uh, anyone else felt stressed since finding out they, they had a brain tumor. And that's why I'm making this video. Absolutely, you get stressed. It is such a scary, gnarly, incredibly bewildering time in your life. Not only for you, but also announcing it and letting your loved ones know. It's uh, I remember having to tell my dad and my family, and it, 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 was, it was really, really, really tricky. And scary because you don't want to go and put the stress, anxiety, and fear on them as well. So yeah, I was I was very stressed for so long, and and without being a pity party, my stress was really really elongated and stretched out for that seven years because I knew something was in my brain that shouldn't be there and was nasty, but I also didn't know what it was and how serious it was and what we were dealing with. So. Yeah, my stress over those seven years is gradually, 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 gradually grew, pardon me. Um, and I'll go to this, go through this in another video, but I actually took three months off work because I was so stressed and anxious around my health situation and what was going on in my brain. And I, I just couldn't face going to work and I, I really fell into a real severe pit of anxiety um, and luckily, I got my my way out of that, and that is a story for another video. But to to answer this lovely lady in the forum, one hundred percent, your stress increases. If it doesn't, power to you. You must have the most incredible powers of Zen. But for me, I was severely stressed. Um, all I could do was was put uh, energy into meditation and ways to get my my nervous system. To, to calm down each day and just a quicky chick little lifestyle hack for me during that time, a 10 minute meditation every day. Um, although it doesn't sound much, takes your body from fight or flight and catastrophizing and worry into, into a state of calm and also homeostasis and medita- uh, meditative relaxation. So yeah, if you find yourself severely, severely stressed or even a little bit stressed since, since finding out the news, just know it's normal. Um, you're human, of course, it's going to stress you out. There's a lot of unknowns and if buts, knows and whys and maybes. And my quick tip to you is uh, just try meditating. Um, you know, you, you may think that's the last thing you want to do, um, but it is, you know, scientifically proven to to calm your nervous system down, which at the moment is severely heightened. So that'll be my, my quick tips and advice. So guys, as I'm alluding to in all my videos now, I, uh, I want to dedicate and serve the community of of fellow warriors out there and brain surgery survivors and their families who may need some uh, some insights, education and a bit of peace. So I am making videos for any questions that I get from from the community. Uh, So to make it easy for me to create content and if you have a, a burning question or you are the carer of someone who you think may have questions, pop them in the comments. I'll go through the comments, I'll read them I'll then create a video and I'll, I'll get that video specifically answering your question back to you on whatever forum or medium that I, that I found the question on in, in the first place. 
So guys, help me help more people out there. It is a lonely bloody time, excuse my French, but yeah, going through brain surgery and the brain tumor gnarliness, for lack of a better term, it can be a very lonely place and you may have a really strong support network, but sometimes there's nothing like talking to someone else who's actually been through it and who's got a brain tumor. Um, as much as our loved ones want to sympathize and help, they can't actually empathize because they haven't lived it and walked the walk. I have. I've been there. I'm here and I'm positive and I want to show you can improve. And I want to help you uh, stay in a positive frame of mind to progress in your rehabilitation, your recovery. So guys, a quick way you can all help me get my word out to more and more warriors, simply like and subscribe. I won't harp on about that too much more. I'm out of here. Peace.